I think our kids are ready. We're, our goal wasn't to wasn't to beat Kit Carson and wasn't to uh, be league champions. Our, our goal all along has been to to uh, be state champions and win a gold ball. So we know uh, what we did last week was was a, a great accomplishment, but uh, we still got work to do this week against a, a very good Eads team. Coach, did that victory help refocus the team maybe a little bit? Not that you lost focus, but obviously you faced lots of adversity in that game against Kit Carson that you really haven't faced throughout the course of the regular season. Well, that's true, and I don't know that if maybe it's hurt us. Um, we haven't really been challenged all year. We've had several games that uh been 45-point rule at halftime, and a lot of our starters haven't played uh, a whole lot. So it, it may have hurt us, but I think it, it did it. It did us some good to be in a tight game and to to know that that um, we are good enough and that we do the right things to to beat a very good uh, Kit Carson team. That uh, I think it gives us some confidence going in to playing a good Eads team. Coach, what do you see out of Eads on film or from what you know that causes you concern on both the offensive and defensive sides of the ball? Well, I know the McCracken kid is, is a very good running back. He's He's quick. They just run a lot of um, stuff off the end there, and, and he's quick. And if he gets by the linebacker, not too many people are going to catch him. They have a good quarterback in that Jacob Buck. He throws the ball as well as anybody in, in six men and, and probably at higher levels too. So we've got to know we've got to put some pressure on him. We've got to be able to stop the run. And I think, again, this week, Special teams and, and defensive stops are going to play a, a big part in the game. Would you consider your special teams and defense equal strengths, Coach, or is one outshining the other when you look at both special teams and your team's defense? Well, we've we've focused on that really since I've been here, the special teams and, and how important they are. If you look at it, uh, the made extra points, uh, was the difference in the game against Kit Carson? Um, uh, being able to punt the ball or, or and without uh, turnovers, uh, kickoff returns and punt returns, uh, changing field position, and of course making the extra points is is really big in six men. But I think um, you know we gave up the ball there late, and we had to play defense uh, against a team that's capable of scoring. Uh, anywhere on the field and in a short amount of time, but we were able to step up and play defense when we had to, and we made some goal line stops and stopped them inside the 10 a couple of times. So our defense came up for us, and I think, you know, offensively, we're capable of scoring and putting points up, and, and we've got to. We've got to do the same thing this week. A couple of final things, Coach. Offensively, is there one thing that has to improve upon last week's effort since you only scored 24 points? And I know it was against a good Kit Carson team, but there have been games this season where you put up 40, 50, 60, even 70 points. Well, I think we know we're in the playoffs now, and, and especially the state championship, that um, it's it's unlikely you're going to have to you're going to score 70 points or 60 points against their quality teams. But, um, you know, we just got to play defense, and and we make it pretty simple that we've got to score more than the other team. And I guess that, that's about as simple as you can get it. Yeah, no doubt. And finally, Coach, as a head coach with these players, knowing that you won the state championship last year, is there a little bit of a mental edge uh, knowing that maybe Eads could be a team that – could be a little bit unnerved at the beginning of the game as opposed to Idalia where you would think you'd be pretty cool and collective throughout the entire game because, again, you've been here before. Well, I think it's definitely got to help us having the experience. Um, these kids that are seniors have played in three state championships, and they've they played a lot of big games in, in four years. Eads has been a while since they've been there. They're new to it, but um, maybe the home field advantage – um, evens that out a little bit, and um, you know sometimes you're dealing with 17 year old kids that you know they don't know any better. They're they're playing the championship, and and uh, you know sometimes those those experience things don't really play in.